You don't have to be a DIY superstar to install your own home security system. And to show you how easy it is, I'm going to go through a typical DIY setup process. If you thought DIY home security might be out of your league, by the end of this video, you'll see how simple it can be. And even I can do it, and I mess it up a lot. But first, let's do a quick overview of what you can expect from a typical DIY system. Usually they're gonna be fairly simple with minimal equipment included. So you'll have a base station or a control panel that's sort of the brains of the system. You're gonna have a siren so that people can be alerted that something's going on that needs to have attention paid. You're gonna have a motion detector that will usually just have one for the main entry of your home where the most action happens so you'll know who's coming and going. And then you'll have a few door and window sensors that you'll want to use on your first floor doors and windows so you'll know if someone's trying to get in. A really important thing to keep in mind though is that most DIY systems use Wi-Fi or cellular coverage in order to have a connection to the monitoring center. Landlines are usually not even an option for a system like this that just comes to you in a box. So keep that in mind. If you don't have strong coverage where you are, before you click buy on your online cart, make sure that you're picking the right system. Some cool things that we really like about DIY systems is it is peel and stick installation. All of your equipment is gonna come with a pre-installed adhesive sticky on there. You're just gonna peel it off and stick it where you need protection. And you're gonna spend a lot less money overall for a DIY system because you're not gonna be in a contract and you're buying minimal equipment typically. However, you're gonna shell out more cash up front because you're buying the equipment outright rather than leasing it over time in a three-year contract, which you would do in a more traditional professional installed system situation. And one of my favorite things is that you don't have to let someone you don't know an install person into your house and you don't have to take time off work to make that happen. But I still recommend taking some time off work to have it installed, just do it yourself and then go get a massage. That's what I would do. Okay, let's see what one looks like. You'll open it up. You've got a user manual. We've got a guide that tells you what to do step by step. Oh, let me get to the right page. It's super easy. That's all the instructions that you need to make this happen. It's way easier than putting together something from Ikea, which is very challenging depending on who you are. When you open your box number one, the first thing that you're going to want to do is get power to this control panel or base station, whichever you've got, and um, get it fired up. And then you're going to want to download the app. And between your control panel and your app, it's gonna tell you exactly what to do, step by step. And the thing I love about this is called guided setup. And the thing that I love about it is that it will not let you do the next step unless you completed the previous step correctly. So it's foolproof in a lot of ways, which is really cool. And then when you open up box number two is where you're gonna have all the goodies. All right, so this is a motion detector and almost every single system that you get is going to have one of these because motion is what's going to trigger activity so that you can find out is it just my kid coming in late is it the dog going crazy or is it somebody that i need to get out of my house and like we mentioned you've got full uh pre-stuck adhesive on there so you're just going to peel and stick and what i kind of like is it says top so a motion detector has to detect the motion and it tends to detect it downwards. So there's a sensor on the bottom. And for some reason, when I look at these, this is the way I feel like they should be installed. So if I didn't have a handy dandy top sticker, I would do it wrong and I would get no motion alerts. So pay attention for that. Don't use your gut instincts. We do not make the equipment. We just make it work when we install it properly. And then the next thing that you um, are going to be installing are door and window sensors. And these, again, have the sticky on the back and they go together. I like to say that they need to be kissing in order to work. And so they will almost always have some kind of a guide on there. This has the circle and the line that's gonna give you an idea if they're lined up properly to talk to each other. And so you typically will install one on one side of the window and one on the other side or part of the door jam in the other. And then when you slide the door open, the alarm will go off because they're not kissing and you'll know that something is happening. This is a panic button. 
So typically, if something happens, if someone comes into the house and you need help immediately, or even if it's just like a medical emergency, your control panel will have a way for you to contact the monitoring center in an emergency. That's sort of a panic thing. But this might be downstairs in the main hallway and my bedroom is upstairs. And this is where a panic button will come in handy because it gives you that direct link to help without having to run down the stairs and get to the control panel, which is cool. This is a remote. It's like a key fob. And I think fobs, fobs are the way of the future man. My whole life is getting taken over by fobs. My car is opened by a fob. My front door is opened by a fob. I get into the gym with a fob. Why not arm and disarm my security system with a fob? I love it. It's, but you do have need, you need a little pouch or something to carry all your fobs in because if you don't have them with you, they're not gonna work. But this is cool because it, you don't need to go into the app and you don't need to run into the house and punch in your code so that the alarm doesn't go off if your hands are full of groceries or other stuff that you need to get into the house. You can simply disarm it before you get out of the car and load up your arms. So, foolproof. And finally, this doesn't come in all systems, but a lot of them have it and we strongly recommend it. This is a monitored smoke detector so that it's gonna be connected to your security system so that if smoke or heat is detected, the alarm is gonna go out to you on the app and it's gonna go out to the monitoring center and you'll be able to figure out if there's a fire starting or happening uh, before it's too late. Uh, which is really handy. I actually had a fire in my home several years ago and neighbors called me because they saw smoke coming out of my house. And I got there from my office before the fire trucks. Something like this would alleviate that situation. So whether it's a smoke detector that's monitored as part of your system or just something that listens for your smoke detector to send up the alarm, it's something that we really recommend. And that's all there is to it. You get your sensors, you figure out where you need to put them, Peel and stick, and your system set up. But not all DIY systems are like this one. You can have a more extensive, robust, traditional system from a company like Front Point, where it's still DIY installation, but you're going to have a much more extensive selection of equipment and Things like cameras, indoor and outdoor cameras, and that are gonna be uh, much more readily integrated into the system. So if you have a larger property, a bigger home, multiple floors that you want to protect, you might wanna look into one of those more traditional systems, but you can still go ahead and do it with DIY installation, which is awesome. And those do guided installation as well. And so an app will take you through everything, even if you're doing it on four floors of your home. All right, so now that you are hopefully feeling pretty confident about your ability to DIY the heck out of a security system, find the right one for your home at safewise.com. <laughs>